Hello everyone, and today we're going to learn how to make a basic bursting schedule. What bursting will do is it will take a crystal report, break up the group values based on group header 1, and generate a unique individual report based on those different group values. We want to take a crystal report and break it up by company name so that each company gets its own gets a separate report generated and can be delivered wherever we want to. Okay. So first, we'll select bursting schedule. Bring up a handy wizard here and we'll select our crystal report that we want to export. I'll select this one. Name the schedule that we want. Describe it and then add a keyword. What you can also do, you can parse out the fields from your crystal report. What this enables you to use is to use the inserts feature by taking fields from your crystal report and placing them anywhere in the software during the schedule. We'll leave this alone until we take a look at the advanced tutorial. You define your timing of how you want the bursting schedule to run and then click next. In this particular scenario my crystal report has no parameters so I'll click next but normally you'll actually pick out the particular parameters you want the report to run for. Set your report options and now we're ready to determine our bursting mode. In this exercise we want to do a simple bursting with simple bursting, we manually select and define specific groups to reburst. So we're doing this one at a time. We're also going to assign a specific destination per bursting group. So there's a bit more manual work, but it's perfect if you're looking to just pluck out one or two or three or four group values out of a report and send them to specifically different people. So let's choose simple. All right, now here's where we're going to specify what group values we want to burst out of that report. So we'll select our first drop down box and we'll select one of the values here in group header one that we're going to burst by. Keep in mind, in your crystal report, we can only burst by values or lo that are located in group header one, nowhere else. So company name is in group header one of my crystal report. Now I'm going to decide by what value am I going to burst that out by. Well the group values in company name are the different company names. Let's first, I want to break out the company around the horn. Select it and then click the blue down arrow. It will instantly bring up the email wizard or the destination wizard rather. Here's where you get to specify where this particular group will go. Let's pick email. Simply pick the email address that you want it to go to. And then once you've written your email and you're satisfied with that report group, select the format that you want that report group to go out in. And then you can even customize the naming as well. So as you see, we now have one report group there. Now keep doing this until you've picked all the specific report groups that you want to burst. Keep adding by pressing the down blue button. And what's great about simple bursting, you can even pick different destinations. So this particular company actually is going to go to a path on a file drive. So now in this case I can simply pick disk. And again, just keep doing this for all the values that you want to add. So what's great about simple bursting is I can suck one particular group out of a report and send that particular group report value via email and then even do a completely different report group value via disk. 
Why would I want to do that? Well, say in my report, it's a long, comprehensive report that not everybody needs to necessarily needs to see all the information in. So I can actually pluck out the information that's specific to them out of this report and send it to them by using this method. Click Next. The software has an element of self-healing where essentially we can retry the report up to a certain number of times if, there's any, if any failure has occurred on either end. Moreover, we can check to see if a report is blank and perform any number of actions on it. Please take a look at the exception handling tutorial for all the details. And finally, like all schedules, we can run a custom task. These are any tasks that you can run to further automate that schedule. Things like sending email notifications, updating database records are all possible using custom tasks. For more information, check out the custom task tutorial. Once you're happy with your bursting schedule, click finish. Once done, You'll now see that my bursting schedule is located here. If I right click on it, I can go to the properties to review it and make changes. I can disable it so it'll no longer burst anymore. Or I can even execute the schedule on demand. Well, that's it. We've just learned how to make a basic bursting schedule that will pluck specific group values out of a report and then deliver each group to a very specific, specific destination. Thank you very much for joining.